It's Wes. Welcome to another video. Today, we're back to the scene of the crime where we were in the last video. And I'm going to show you camera settings and the differences between off-camera flash and no flash in the same setting. Um, Pablo's over here, somewhere okay. there, there. And uh, so he's back to help me. And um, so, yeah, I'm just going to get set up with a diffuser and a stand and they'll be ready to go in no time. Boom. All right, everybody, here we are back at the scene of the crime. Pablo is here. So we had a question about what's the difference between the on-camera flash and no flash. So I thought I'd go through those settings and demonstrate that. So right now I'm just gonna turn this a little bit so you can see the umbrella. The umbrella's a little bit low, but I'm gonna raise that up as we go. And so the first shot is um, Pablo, this is 85 millimeter and I'm shooting at 8,000th of a second F32 ISO 400. So this is just to get a, a baseline. It's pretty, pretty, pretty dark. So um, I have the shutter speed very high. Let's cut that to about a thousand. Pablo with the, the flash on, and that's, that's a little too bright for what I want. So I'm gonna increase the f-stop to cut out some of that light. And then I'm gonna reposition the umbrella after we get this dialed in. And that's kind of nice, nice and moody. All right, so we see Pablo, we see the light is hitting his face, we see the background, but the background's dark. And so now I'm just gonna reposition the light so that it gets right on his face, um, but that we also get a, a brighter image. I'm just gonna slow the shutter speed down to one over 500. And Pablo, give me a smile. There it is. All right, so that one we can see is nice, brightly exposed. A pretty good headshot. Um, so here's the thing. If you turn off the flash, which I'm gonna do just by turning off the trigger, this is the same shot. And you see it's, it's completely underexposed in the foreground, you're getting the sky. And so we have to completely readjust the settings to have it properly exposed. So just for the sake of ease, I'm just gonna hit aperture priority and let the camera do the work. Camera adjusts everything for me, properly exposed. And we can see the settings it shows were 1 over 160, f5.6, and ISO 400. So nice exposed image. The difference between that is we have a nice blend of bright background and Pablo properly exposed in the foreground compared to this where you actually see the subject popping off the background because the light is, um, there's more emphasis on the light in the subject, on the subject than the light in the background. Okay, I'm gonna do this a couple more times and we're gonna see how we fare. So let's just move it around and we're gonna get some backlighting. So, um, we're gonna film this way towards the sun. Pablo, you wanna follow me over here? One thing I wanna do is change the angle of the light and so we get more of a downward angle. So I raise the umbrella and the strobe so it's gonna come down on top um, from the top so we get a better, more pleasing light and the shadow under the chin. Yeah, I got it. So Pablo, if you just move to the edge of that manhole cover right there. So I just turned off aperture priority mode, went back to manual. It has the same settings as over there, but in this case, we're shooting into the sun, so I'm probably gonna have to adjust some things. So, I got it. So it's, it's pretty nice, it's um, pretty exposed well. I think the background light is still overpowering a little bit, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn up the, I got it. All right, so we're getting a lot of background light, so I'm gonna increase the shutter speed, and then that should cut down the background light right there. Okay, and now all I have to do is turn up the, the, uh, the flash. So that is, that was uh, one over 30 sec, one over 32? It yeah. It was one over 32, but now I've put it to one over eighth power, so we're gonna shoot again. And then here we go. All right, 
that's pretty nice exposure. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is go through the settings here. Again, we have flash shot uh, shutter speed one over 1250. Again, a very fast shutter speed, cutting out the background light, F5.6 and then ISO 400. Now to get, if I turn off the flash, you're gonna see turning off the flash, same picture, Pablo's gonna look like a silhouette. Yep, he, just him against the bright sky. And so if I wanna properly expose that, I'm gonna just go into aperture priority mode and then the camera's gonna do everything, all the work and keep the aperture priority the way I set it. So it's gonna overexpose Pablo. And so you see bright background, bright face. And so what I'm doing by introducing the off-camera flash is I'm uh, helping reduce the light in the background and increase the light on the subject, even though I'm using the light uh, of the sun as my backlight. All right, so we're gonna do this one more time. Uh, pop back into manual mode. Nice bright flash. Actually, I'm going to increase that to one over four. There we go. Three, two, one. And there's a nice exposed uh, foreground, Pablo in the foreground and the background. All right. I'm not crazy about the, the glare from the sun, so I'm going to ask Pablo just to move over to, uh-oh. Sorry. Are you coming through? Okay. So I'm going to ask Pablo to move over against these bushes here, and I'm going to shoot this way and um, get a little of the, the greenery in there. I actually didn't reposition my light at all. So that's a, uh, something I could do to improve is I'm gonna bring that in. So we should get kind of a Rembrandt lighting. Again, I have a huge, huge diffuser, seven foot umbrella right here. And so Pablo looking straight into the camera. Nice headshot. That's a beautiful shot. That's a beautiful man right there. You wanna come see it, Pablo? Not lying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the thing is with this shot, what I've done is we're outside, it's bright, we're right in the sunlight, but um, a combination of a higher aperture, um, so closing the light, uh, the gap the light can get through, and a fast shutter speed. And I'm gonna just move back a little bit as long as the umbrella doesn't blow over. All right, that's it, there we go. I think that's my favorite shot so far. We have some nice lighting on Pablo's face. And um, actually, Paula, turn, point your toes towards the Buffalo Exchange like that. Yeah, I think I like this angle of your face better. Three, two, one. Nice. That's a nice shot right there. And so it's just playing around with the angle, playing around with the intensity of the light. But again, you saw the before and after. Let me just turn off the strobe. Here's the same settings, camera settings. And Pablo, you'll see is very, very underexposed against a brighter background. And then if I just hit aperture priority and let the camera do the work, set that right here, it's gonna brighten up. It's gonna brighten up the foreground. Pablo's properly exposed. I, I think for the first probably five, six years, I shot not on manual, but aperture priority because I could set the depth of field and then the camera do the rest and end up properly exposed. However, you find out in low light situations, it's jacking up your ISO, you're getting grainy images. So that's why you would introduce off camera flash. And that's also why you would do things like um, shoot in manual and then you can control all those variables. All right, so we're gonna do one last thing. I'm gonna turn on my light. I'm gonna increase the aperture so it's a tiny, tiny opening for the light. So I'm gonna go to like F11 and then with the strobe, we're gonna block out all the background and we're just gonna get the light hitting on the face. And I might have to do this a few times. I'll have to increase the uh, shutter speed quite a bit to cut out the ambient light. Here we go, three, two, one. Um, yeah, we're getting moodier there. So I'm gonna just slow down the shutter speed. I cut out too much of the light. And then I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm just gonna increase the power of the strobe. So I'm playing with the combination, the power of the strobe, the f-stop, the shutter speed. Um, all right, Pablo, here we go. Nice and moody. Nice, uh, really nice pose. This is my gangster shot. Yeah. Peace. Hey, uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you like this video, comment, leave a like. Uh, this, was a, this video was actually made in response to a comment on the last video about, hey, can you do before and afters compare with the strobe, without the strobe? So that's what we attempted May to I do. who that was? That was, I think that was your brother. So Steve, shout out to Steve who left a comment. <laughs> I don't uh, think he's ever left a comment on my channel, that's why. 
Steve, you're supposed to go now and leave a comment on Pablo's <laughs> channel. Everybody else, check out Pablo's channel. This is fun. It's Valentine's Day. We're actually by a restaurant that has a line forming to get into Valentine's dinner. So uh, we are out. See you next time.